All right, what's good, y'all? Um, Kyle Loft is here, sitting down with my man Carlos Perez, uh, cinematographer, and we are going to be um, breaking down our latest music video project, "Best Shoes" for Casey Conroy. Parents think I'm lazy. I never want them to worry long. My boyfriend's like a maid. So first and foremost, thought we could look at the warehouse space itself. Um, so first showing up here, um, you know, this is one angle. This is like a side of the warehouse. This is another side. This door area here is where we will be trucking in, you know, bringing in all of our gear and um, unloading. And then this is the wall we ended up shooting and facing, but actually originally and intentionally we were gonna shoot facing back into this way. Um, I guess this was me from director perspective. I think yeah. really, I just, <laughs> I really liked this originally myself and had this vision of kind of clearing it out in this dark locked in space. Um, but we ended up just falling in love with like this wall. Um, and you'll see kind of as we're going through some of the photos here, um, they had these like spray painted pieces of like, just like sheets, but it had so much like color and texture to it. Uh, really added to the video, so um, we decided to shoot facing this wall in this way um, pretty much the entire video. Um, however, we had you know some different angles and stuff going on there, um, but yeah, that's kind of um, base introduction here. Um, so we kind of you know we showed up, so we moved some of these, we actually picked up some of these sheets and used them to block the window. Um, so as you can see that right there, we just used uh, some clips, clipped that up on the wall and blocked out the window. Um, and this is me kind of setting up uh, Aperture uh, 120D um, with the Godex softbox. Um, but I think we ended up changing it out for the light dome, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yes. Um, um, we wanted, um, when I saw the, the yeah, shot there that we, we go. were gonna do, um, I, I checked like the size of the Godox and the one that I had, the light dome, and it was a tiny bit bigger and like just getting that stuff. It makes, it makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, and obviously this scene wasn't in it, but I thought it'd be fun yeah. for us to go ahead and just like talk about it briefly anyway. So, so I, this is the shot that we changed it to the light dome 120D. Um, and we got it as close as we could to her without affecting anything else in order to get like a bigger source on her because it's, this was a very like beauty shot mm -hmm. type of thing yeah definitely so it's like you want as big of a source as possible so like we got that there uh, without affecting anything else the angle we're shooting at like yes. that is not a, like for the most part a glamorous angle like it's hard to pull that off you know and so that was a concern too like especially like how you light it like making sure you're not getting you know like yes. catch like you're not so getting really creasy shadows and we had some lower angles coming down up i was like this is like the big no-no like don't shoot down up um but i mean she pulled it so well something i've been trying to do lately like it's just experiment and see ways that i can make like music videos a bit different um stand out be a bit more unique found this piece of glass and i thought it'd be really cool for a silhouette look um and we'll kind of talk about that first um but we actually decided to do a completely different look that i think was actually my favorite of the entire music video um that we kind of just like again you know luckily stumbled upon uh on set and decided to kind of roll with so this was uh pretty simple again we used the aperture 120d so it's back here on the c stand it's kind of hard to see but we have it super far away um so that way you know obviously we're getting really hard light from our source excuse me um keying in and so that way you know we're getting this really nice silhouette look here um something i thought that was really unique that we decided to do was like switching in and out between a really soft focus and like a hard edged focus um which i thought was like really really unique yeah. and there's a couple times you see it in the music video where i think like the timing of yeah, so of good. the rack focus i don't know if you did that intentionally but like it's so beautiful yeah. how, how the timing works out so perfect and that was really it we used for lighting there because again like what is in frame is just this little box here so you're not seeing anything else so it wasn't like we had a ton of different things we had to worry about lighting. We didn't have to light a whole entire scene. Um, it was just this little spot right here. 
And then again, as you see, you know, pumping in just a bunch of haze. Um, we just wanted to add that in again to kind of soften. And we also had, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a black promist uh, yes. filter on there, but I believe pretty much every shot, right? Yeah, yeah, it looks great. I loved it. You know, added a little spicy sauce to the to the video, add a little flavor. Um, but our next our next uh, look here, um, the beauty look, I would call it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and just adding a little bit to the previous one um we shot yeah. it with a hundred mil the next part was when we were um walking in, when i was walking into this location uh casey was actually on the other side of the glass like not where the exactly she was just there like chilling like, just looked amazing and i, I remember telling her like yo like check this out like afterwards after we do like the, the main look that we're gonna do we gotta see this because it's i want to see how this looks on camera um, and we went for it. So we got her super, super close, um, like that. We got her super close to the glass. Again, we're sh still shooting with the 100 micro. Uh, so it looks like a very surreal, the actual shot looks very surreal. Like you don't know where you're at. It's like, what is, like, where is she even? Like it looks sort of like that. So you're like, where is she? Like super flat black round, background. Um, oh, you barely see the, the rim at the bottom. Uh, super soft light. Um, she was very gentle with her expressions and everything she was doing. So it just worked ridiculously good. It was a super soft source. And then there was one point that you yelled at her. You told her to like kind of get super close to the glass. And this was a surprise for all of us. I was looking at the monitor. She got close, and all the little glass just like did some weird prism. Lighting, thing. yeah, like, like on her face. <laughs> like it was hard for me, like shoot it, just be excited. Like, are you seeing this? Like, uh, so it was super exciting. And so I guess doing these first two looks were very fashion beauty, and so like mm -hmm. we were still kind of. This is another point to kind of bring up, I guess. You know, as originally when I pitched this kind of idea to to Casey. Um, you know, I thought a black and white look yeah. was the way to go. I've never done a music video black and white yet. I thought it'd be the way to go. It'd be super unique and interesting. Um, but as we kind of continue on, you'll, well, as you've seen the video, like you'll realize it's not black and white, it's color. Yeah. Um, we couldn't resist. And I mean, even these shots, I think, you know, again, like this beauty look, especially like the, the her skin tones just looked like amazing. And, and the highlight roll off, um, again, the light was just so soft and I loved how it like was like lost in this abyss of blackness. And so next, um, we jump into kind of the leading look, if you will. I mean, this kind of tied into like everything, but, um, setting up the whole projector. So, you know, the idea with this music video, you know, is she's like in this headspace, you know, realm, but like, she's like, again, like contemplating through video format here, but like in reality, like she's really contemplating like in her mind, you know, um, in this headspace, uh, going through past memories, you know, reflecting on the better days, you know, when times were easier and stuff. So getting this set up and running and operational was a little bit of a hassle. Um, thankfully we had um, some great, <laughs> some great people yeah. in, in our PA nation uh, on deck to help kind of operate and get that going. Most of the video was shot with my Canon FD50s, so like we're always getting like that nice beauty close up of everything, and that lens just flares beautifully, great for the for the skin tones. And uh, lighting wise, projector just shining at her, pushing the camera side so as much as possible because the projector is not that strong and then you you were in the back with that red well i ended up having so i had uh so i could actually be on the monitor here watching yeah. um so we had em oh, uh, em films manual uh based here in orlando help out yeah we used a flashlight there that yeah. um out in germany who essentially made me this really? custom yeah that's a custom flashlight oh. so like he took oh. the chip out of the flashlight and replaced it with a new one so it's like an extra bright <laughs> flashlight okay. Um, but anyway, so we had him holding that there and then he had a red gel over the top as well. And so we had him hold that there. Um, and then he was just, uh, using his fingers and kind of like running in between, uh, created a little bit of space between the flashlight and, uh, the gel. Was. And he was just running his fingers between there. And so that was what was causing that like red flicker, flicker effect. I didn't know what it was. I was like, 
I don't know what's happening back there, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it just looked so good, and it was, like, so subtle, and I thought it fit so well with, like, the projection, because, like, this projection, we're seeing all these different color changes, and it's kind of, like, flashy and choppy, and so I thought it, like, really emulated that, that like, motion and effect and color and, and all that, but it added to the video as well. What did we use a ton of? <laughs> Haze. <laughs> I don't think so we hazed haze. anything as much as we hazed uh, this scene. The funny thing is that we're hazing and using a pro mist. Like, it's just hazy all over the place. And it doesn't look like that. It just no. looks like super moody, atmospheric, all over the place. Because it's like we're dealing with a lot of lights that is not necessarily, we're not necessarily featuring the light on her, but we're actually featuring the actual lights. Mm -hmm. We want to see the projector going in. We want to see the, we don't want to see the red light necessarily. You know, giving him, giving her a nice rim light. We want to see the light going, going into it. I mean, we had like two hazes pumping, crazy. Yeah, I mean, that, I think that was one of like the challenges slash like interesting parts of working in that giant, you know, thirty four hundred square feet. Is you know, we had no way to really block off this smaller portion of the whole warehouse. So like, yeah. literally, we had to fill the whole warehouse with haze. We kept featuring so many different angles of this look. Yes. You know, we did a we did a wide straight on. We did a complete uh, side angle. We did two 45s, one from the right, one from the left. Um, and I think part of that, again, like we were just talking about earlier here, is I think we just like really liked everything we were shooting. <laughs> we shot that a lot, and I, I brought that up. It's like, yo, I'm kind of scared because we're not having like that. I don't know how that's that. I was worried more so for like the pose. I was thinking more in pose, like, how is that gonna work? Every, she's always looking right to left. Um, so we did kind of like change it, change it up a little bit, but you, you were like, yeah, it's gonna be fine. I'm like, it's good. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so looking at the next look, so the next look was uh, the black box look. This one was challenging. So wide, we had a wide feature we wanted to do and we wanted a, a close up as well to kind of pull on the mo more emotional side of things. So this one was tricky on the lighting on what we wanted to do because um, the storyboard was something and uh, I know that wasn't like verbatim what we needed to do that was kind of like the idea but i was kind of stuck on that because it looked amazing i was like God, but i want that it's specifically which is like a long shot super cut down streak of light going into her kind of like very specific and everything blacked out um that couldn't work and because of the location and all that stuff um but you had set up that bench you built or something you could speak more about that and um when we were there so we started lighting her this one we took our time like straight up we had i think three 120ds in total so we started with the softbox behind her and then like everything else was super blacked out and that was kind of the look uh but then i remember i put the other one on her left side so we were having this like super harsh like back side lighting here and mm -hmm. here and this whole black and again thinking that this is a female artist i'm thinking beauty i'm like this is very weird uh, like we need that beauty look in a way and we haste the whole place down and it kind of looked better than i thought and then you went in the back um and it was all you again with the flashlight and just like went in and, and started like moving it around and i yeah. think you got somebody else uh, to do it afterwards so you could go to the to the monitor and direct um uh, but yeah we could see here the look that it was, I, I mean, at this point, I was like going with it. I was like, okay, this is artsy. <laughs> no, it's not beauty, it's yeah. artsy. And it's, she's already beautiful and she shined through all of these weird lighting situations. Yeah. She came out looking artsy and beautiful and it was like, this just works. I'm just gonna go with it. It works. Um, and we shot with two lenses in this one 50 mil and 24 mil, both Canon FDs uh, with Promist and uh, Bojo's. Yeah, I mean, I think like all the little subtle things in this, the wet down too, I, yeah, I forgot, you know, this is really where we first started the wet down because we didn't need that for the other two looks because that was all just tight upper body. Um, we didn't need it for that projector standing because she's standing and we were never gonna, you know, really like pan down like that. So this is like the first time we really started implementing the wet down and I think it was small and subtle. Um, we couldn't even really notice it too much on the wide, but I think it did, you know, kind of, just add a little bit more with that reflection and 
Um, so next, yeah, I guess we can talk about kind of like the little cinematic the sequence stuff. Um, so yeah, shooting the tub. Um, the stuff. challenges with that. So first and foremost, like it took us forever just to get that thing standing because one of the legs was messed up. Yeah. So that was a challenge in and of itself. Um, then there was no seal for the bottom. So we had to use yes, like towels. towels that were leaking <laughs> onto the floor. So that was also like a liability concern there. <laughs> So we're doing all that and then we have no like actual running water coming through this thing. Yes. So like we're faking running water. water. Which it worked pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I see I saw the leaking of the water. I was like, oh liabilities, let me film it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it looked epic. Everything in that tub, vintage tub, looked amazing. It was great. Lighting was really easy too. I mean we really just used the top down with the the yeah. Light dome, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, my focus with everything that we did here was always shoot it like that so I could get as much just like, not necessarily diesel, like all the diesels just die out in the shadows. Um, but yeah, it was just like opposite to the camera, just going beaming down. Um, obviously, you guys are seeing, um, you know, the shot, shots of her kind of walking in that stuff. We, we shot some other stuff too, but that was really, really easy. Um, again, we kind of just blasted some light in from the side. Yeah um just threw a softbox on it light them um again i think i think we actually used two aperture 120ds um just because we had like a long point of her walking that we wanted to cover and we just wanted to kind of get it all in one take kind of thing we lit it top down um just to get the edge like you don't want to light this stuff like straight from the side or whatever because it looks too like documentary ish like here's a well, especially like the surface too it's yeah. gonna be super reflective i didn't even think about it It was just like yeah, yeah top down and we're gonna do it that's it um because it just gave everything a nice texture it still looked ridiculously moody cast the right amount of shadows um and with the haze and then the light coming out it just worked like i just moved honestly i was just pointing at it and looking for like i went super close up i took the lens off so i could get even more macro type yeah. of stuff I went super in and I I, t I think I took way too many shots of this because I was just having way too much fun. <laughs> or a haze canister and, and yes. use that to kind of spray in there right away, just right into the light. And I yes. think that made a huge difference, just really having the particles there, bringing that light projection out and that light ray just looked really, really, whoa, my voice kind of cracked there. <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it from there. Um, moving on from that, you know, we, we jumped to, uh, so we had a wide look and a tight look here. Casey sitting on the floor, um, in front of the projection. This is kind of the piece we use to tie in the whole video. So the why, this is what's making sense of all these different spaces you're visiting, like the bathtub and the standing part of her in front of the projection, her at the black box, like brings everything together for the viewer, um, spatially. Um, that was kind of the point of the why. And then also, again, it just kind of, again, narrows in on this this feeling of isolation for Casey. Again, she's like alone in these thoughts. Carlos, you want to kind of talk about some of setting this lighting up because we didn't want this to feel just the same as yeah. the standing look. You know, this was the look that's kind of, again, tying everything in. This is the main look we're using to weave this kind of story together. Um, and obviously for the final shot, when all this chaos and confetti's flying, like, we need that really to look epic. Yeah. So like we had that, you know, we really wanted to make this special. So yeah, if you want to talk yeah, about that. Um, I want to just like, you know, say props on your side for not only directing, but producing this because the production <laughs> side of this is great. Like every little shot that we did was actually building this set. Like we shot the mirror first in order to like get that out of the way because that doesn't interrupt with anything else. We shot the other thing was behind this set of us that didn't interrupt anything then we started shooting the bench one which was starting to build this set yeah kind of uh and the projector scenes that, like that's it was starting to build it we uh, then brought in the tub we did everything tub so that we could be here in this very spot which was the the photo before because this one was and when the floor is flooding when we need it <laughs> it's yeah, flooded <laughs> exactly and then the floor like it was getting wet as, as, as we needed uh, and then so for this one we shot it with a 12 millimeter lawa to get the whole thing in like in the frame um 
the main shot didn't have those two backlights. It was mm -hmm. just like the projector light. Yep. And I was pushing the camera to places I didn't want to, but it worked perfectly. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> it was like we had the vintage projector and then a normal projector. Which kind of the vintage so, worked. It's just the, well. the actual diameter it covered was yeah. like maybe the size of my monitor we're looking at exactly. now, like 40 <laughs> inches or so. Yeah. Um, so we couldn't use that. And then obviously, the it yeah the brightness was way way too strong. Um, and yeah. it was just this really harsh mm -hmm. yellowish orange light, which we yeah. wouldn't want on Casey's no. face. Yeah, you can see me crunching down right because I wanted to shoot having the since you could see the projector lights. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be. Uh, for us to like to see the lights on top and be on her angle and you directed the guys that were doing the the angle of the projection super well because it just covers her face and everything else is like in shadow that thing was great i love that um and as i was shooting that oh and we didn't have any other lights it was just projector straight mm -hmm. in for the great. wide for, for the, the wide. wide yeah yeah because obviously again we're like seeing the whole space like exactly even though the mirror stuff wasn't included you know yeah. i thought about that too and like i made sure the mirror and all that stuff stay yeah. there the whole time because i knew when we yeah. came back to the shot at the end you people are going to see that and like continuity would be kind of ruined in yeah. that sense so yeah. yeah um but yeah i thought it'd be co cool to like talk about like the challenges of like making it unique and like have a good look for the close-up and especially you know of how we were trying to shoot it um especially just being like on sticks flat um we don't have any movement with it i mean i plan to put movement and punch in and post i you know i mentioned that to you but um everything else we had you know natural fluid movement for the yeah. entire video and this was kind of shot entirely differently oh for sure yeah and then we moved on into the confetti shop which we uh, another kind of challenging thing whenever you want to see anything particle be it water confetti smoke anything you have to light it from the back so we had a very symmetrical everything was very symmetrical in this video and we had these lights that we the, the two 120ds corner corner pointing in so that we could see the confettis at the end coming in you can see it from the back um and we plan to shoot that with the 6k black magic 6k yep because he wanted to punch in uh, and be able to have that two angle thing. So we shot it with 6K so he could do that. Um, and we shot it slow motion, 60 frames. Uh, she was singing twice the speed. So we could get the, the confetti actually in slow motion. Sorry. How do you think it looked? I think it looked amazing. <laughs> I think it looked, uh, I was thinking it was gonna look slower, but she nailed it. She like practiced there, singing like a chipmunk. And <laughs> Uh, it's always weird, um, but yeah, but that look was the same thing same setup just two um, The two lights in the back and if you want to talk about the confetti stuff because I, I don't know how you can pull that off. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so pretty much planning and getting ready for this uh, This scene set up so we used uh, two giant industrial fans these were gonna kind of throw the confetti up in the air and and I remember too, yeah, you were, you, you definitely were concerned about this, this shot. Cause I remember I had like already worked with, uh, the people earlier in the day, like, or not earlier in the day, like probably just like 10 minutes earlier and like yeah. tested the fans with the confetti and you're, and you like wanted to test it again before we shot. You're like, wait, can I see it? Yeah, I didn't know. What that uh, yeah, no, but so we had two industrial fans kind of pointing up at like a 45 towards Casey. Um, about I'd say maybe three feet from her something like that um, and so we had a bunch of shredded paper um, confetti and all that getting thrown from some people um, into the fan that would then blow up into the air in front of her um, we had two people in the background um, just out of frame and they're tossing different pieces of clothing and like shoes behind Casey and so my whole idea and we didn't end up using as much of the shot as I like and I'm okay with that because I think it yeah. the way I cut it was i think it perfectly. perfectly with the video and like mm -hmm. just the build up and leading to this big moment um uh but i thought something that that was really cool was you know like the clothes and shoes flying in the background so i would have yeah. liked to maybe see a bit more of that anyways um yeah that's that's what we had going on and so in order to make that happen and i think look fluid and good i knew one thing not only having the confetti coming from uh both sides but mixing in again some shredded paper like we didn't want it to look just like this like party theme it still needed to have like somewhat of like a grunginess to it you know because it's like this big 
emotional moment in her mind and stuff. Um, and so that was part of it. And then again, was making sure that we had two people on each side with each industrial fan. So the idea was that um, there's constantly, so when one person is uh, tossing, you know, confetti in the, the paper over the fan, the other person is digging in and grabbing out. So like, there's never not confetti flying. And so it felt like it was raining the this confetti and uh paper like i didn't want it to feel like this stuff's flying in from like a party like i literally wanted to feel like it was raining just chaos um and so that was kind of the idea behind that and actually we wanted to bring in like a barrel and like light that shit on fire and yes, <laughs> do all this stuff we <laughs> that we unfortunately didn't get to do but hopefully that's like in the next budget and yes. next video um yes. some liability concerns with that but that would have been epic but um so yeah just wrapping up the video um it's pretty much all the scenes and looks um what i guess what was like your biggest Actually, before, I don't want to make this video like too, too long, but yeah. I would love to hear because you just came and saw this today. Yes. So was it what you thought, like what you envisioned in your mind? Was it? I think it was better than what I had imagined. Okay. Because I, this video, I didn't see it as a whole. Like as I was shooting, I wasn't thinking of cutting together because like I was trying to detach my brain from that and just leave that to you because you're the one doing it so I was like okay I'm gonna think on each scene how can I make each scene even though we're gonna do this scene and it's gonna be you know we're working for three four hours for this scene and doing all this work for probably like three seconds of a shot I was like that's what's giving I was thinking earlier that's what's giving this video its value it's like even though there's short clips here and there but we're treating each one as if this location and scene is gonna be a one take for the whole video yeah and i think all of them work as a one take if you kind of play them back like yeah yeah perfect yeah yeah i think my biggest takeaway like day of was just like how um satisfied casey and willie were and as well as like everyone else that was on set everyone was just like super pumped and That's ecstatic true. and and happy so that was like reaffirming and again just like seeing everything on the monitor i mean it just it looks so great and this was just like another reminder of like why it's so important to make sure that you have a quality team around yeah. you because so um this shoot was so damn fun yeah but if it was just us it would have been hell it would have been so stressful <laughs> yeah. um demanding i would have been so just tired worn out like yeah, it would have been just rough, really, really rough. And so I think this was like another great reminder uh, to make sure that you have like a quality crew around yeah. you and like to always like build that. Mm -hmm. And again, like I, I appreciate your compliment earlier. I think that's some, something else that I really pride myself on was like um, like production, like, yeah. like being organized and on time and like scheduling things. I think that's made a huge difference in like oh, my okay. projects. Um, I think it definitely made a huge difference in this one. Um, I don't think there's any way we would have been on time. Like if we, especially if like we just jumped around and shot things, like Ooh, no. if we didn't shoot the stuff <laughs> in the order we did, no. it would have no. been hell, mm -hmm. hell, hell on earth. <laughs> it would have been terrible. Um, yeah, but I, I guess that's, that's pretty much it for me. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you have anything else. Closing remarks. No, I loved it. Build a team, get, you know, focus on a craft get better at it and get together with people that do the things that you don't like doing or you're not as great as doing that is how this worked and follow my boy because he's uh <laughs> he's a slayer he's a slayer with the camera oh, man. um yeah that's it gall uh gall 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 <laughs> <Gauls. laughs> um that's it guys um appreciate y'all stopping by hope you enjoyed the video and uh looking forward to uh doing our next cinematography breakdown hopefully yes hopefully here in like the next month or two yeah um yeah, we'll see y'all then. Deuces.